Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As a dedicated free-to-play player who played this game for 11 months, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today we are going to speak regarding Warpets, um, simply because um, after the introduction of the Warpets in the game, a lot have been uh, changed. Uh, every patch, uh, every new update, they are getting more and more some bug, si bug fixes, some uh, totally changed systems. So that's why I decided to um, update every single guide which I made in the past um, regarding every single Warpet. Um, as you already know, if, if you check the channel, I have been doing the one by one guides of every single warped. And today I'm going to speak um, about one of the most interesting warpets. Uh, if you have checked my tier list for the warpets, uh, I put this warped on uh, one of the higher uh, places, which is uh, Venomous Lizard. A uh, lot of players have been using Venomous Lizard in many different. Uh, legion types, even pay to win players who are spending money in the game and even uh, free to play players. So in order for us to understand why Venomous Lizard is so popular, we need to understand what kind of skills and attributes uh, is good uh, in this type of warpit. As always, I'm going to speak regarding attributes um, and uh, like as any lizard, uh, this venomous lizard is overall type of uh, warpet which can be used in many different kind of um, uh, hero pairs. Uh, and the base attributes, the priorities are same, uh, like four priorities as any kind of lizard. Strength, agility, endurance and luck. Uh, that's like main priority for the venomous lizard, the build one. I think uh, venomous lizard has two builds. And at first I will speak about uh, build number one. Uh, for the build number one, strength, agility, endurance and luck will be the uh, priority uh, in my opinion. Uh, as always, try to get legendary warped because after the, those updates which I mentioned, uh, it's pretty easy to get legendary warped. And also uh, they added uh, regeneration potions in many events, so it, it's much uh, easier to get those potions uh, to increase your chance to get a uh, better pet. Uh, that's why like difference is pretty huge uh, elite um, level elite rarity venomous lizard maximum uh, is like this for the epic one maximum tier is a tier and for legendary one it's much much better uh, s tier is the highest tier and uh, if you will uh, look properly these attributes are the main uh, thing about the warpets it matters a lot that's why i would suggest you to uh, try to get the legendary one uh, and then uh, continue to build the orbit. The main skill uh, for the venomous lizard is infection, 11% uh, chance to inflict poison on an attacker for 3 seconds when your legion is hit by a normal attack. Poison damage deals uh, damage every second. Um, you all, I think you already understand that uh, poison damage is all about staying alive because if you are alive more, uh, you have more seconds to make this poison tick. It's pretty cool ability. Um, in my opinion, uh, this ability is great because we have a two play style uh, with the poison uh, infection. That's my honest opinion. And as always, um, after the introduction of those um, updates, uh, now we can get uh, one star and two star main skills. Uh, my best suggestion in this video would be to get a uh, main skill and like at least on one star and then continue to build your warped. Uh, that should be the like your main priority. I know it's random, I know it's a struggle. Uh, try to catch a maximum level pet warped on the field. Um, I captured a couple of 45 levels and I got uh, this venomous lizard, I got this uh, night rock with one star uh, and I got this snow peak rock on one star. So try to get the one star and then build around the uh, warped around the one star main skill. So as I said we are speaking about uh, one build uh, and number one build is mainly infantry build. Um, and uh, for infantry, like uh, 
this poison is great because you are staying alive as, uh, as much as possible during the battlefield. Let's build the venomous lizard uh, through infantry build and of course I would go and finish the synergy of infection uh, which is forceful infection. Uh, infection damage dealt 3% determined by strengths as I said strengths, uh, agility, endurance and l uh, luck is the main attributes um, and also like infection is uh, determined by agility uh, so like we only spend one agility attribute and one strength attribute of course i'm gonna finish this synergy now with the uh, infection um, and i would finish the super infection infection trigger chance in percentages determined by luck uh, so we used only three attributes uh, none of them is like uh, uh, like two so we can like you need to understand that you can use three same attribute skills on a single pet so it is pretty important as i said we are building the infantry uh, version of the venomous lizard and that's why i think one of the best infantry skill synergy on the on the infantry type of war pet uh, is counter strike right uh, when your legion is hit with a normal attack, they have 50% chance to deal damage to the attacker and is determined by endurance, another attribute which we have not used and that's why additionally it's great. Um, after that, I'm gonna finish the Counter-Strike um, synergy until the end, 100% uh, chance to gain one stack uh, of top pet when casting Counter-Strike and determined by endurance and of course let's finish the uh, counter-strike synergy it should be somewhere like here um, let's find it um, well like you are just finishing the counter-strike synergy until the end like a counter-strike a tough counter-strike and i can't find the like yep wild counter-strike 100% um, chance to deal damage to the target legion when casting counter-strike and determined by agility that's the second synergy which is really, really important especially for infantry build of the venomous lizard and after that if you have enough uh, slots um, i would go with first attack uh, like casting as much poison as possible um, is, it will be a great addition and of course for first attack you can go like and finish the first attack tree uh, with like super first attack and uh, somewhere here should should be um, uh, the third skill forceful first attack uh, that's my idea how the infantry style of venomous lizard should be built of course you can finalize your build with like some blood roar maybe or like some filler skills which will be good um, now let's continue about one of the most important for infantry um, hero pairs for the infantry style of venomous lizard uh, it's pretty obvious um, any infantry uh, hero pair is uh, tankiest hero pair in the game if we're gonna compare it to the other hero, hero other legion types um, and so far like Madeline, Nika, Madeline, Garwood, uh, Goresh and Skolgul like uh, that's why the venomous lizard is so great that it can be used in every single infantry hero pair which is uh, currently in the game like even Garwood with Eliana simply because like that's additional damage you are getting uh, from the warpath by just staying alive as much as possible so you will apply these poison poisons and this sticking the ticking damage is great even especially for uh, like against tier 5 players uh, that's why in general Alwyn is used um, during the wars against tier 5s so like um, if infantry hero pairs is pretty simple every single hero pair which you will like uh, maybe you will make uh, and you will be the first one who is playing those infantry hero pairs with your new idea I'm sure you are going to use uh, a venomous lizard on your infantry uh, this was all I, uh, I think about infantry venomous lizard now I think I will go and I will I will speak uh, regarding second build which uh, I, I'm like I'm not sure how strong it is but it's a uh, it's a build which you can think about it May, maybe you will try it more than me and you will have a better um, opinion about this build uh, I think about second build uh, Venomous Blizzard the mage type of build of course we, we are going to speak about base attributes um, regarding like uh, difference between infantry and mage Venomous Lizard build is like we are not prioritizing endurance uh, we are prioritizing like intelligence 
uh, instead of instead of endurance, right? And uh, the same attributes simply because the main skill has like uh, agility, uh, and uh, after that it has strength, uh, and the last one has. Uh, uh, let me check super strength luck right so main attributes will be strengths um, agility luck uh, intelligence or spirit um, i won't gonna speak too much about attributes straight up i'm gonna go and speak regarding the build uh, like why i think the major uh, type of uh, venomous lizard will, would be viable and worth to try Simply because uh, those poison uh, damage uh, which is Venomous Lizard is doing uh, against enemies is magic damage. Uh, each skill magic damage um, factor uh, like poison damage 400 if I'm not mistaken. So if uh, Venomous Lizard is doing uh, magic damage factor uh, skill damage I think it will be viable um, for the mage. Um, hero pairs. So as always, I would 100% finish infection with forceful infection and uh, with the super infection, right? And what's the difference between like mage and uh, infantry venomous lizard? I'm not going uh, with the counter strike synergy. I'm going with the follow up synergy, right? Uh, follow up 40% chance to cast a warp at the major raid skill again to, uh, after two seconds, like you are casting as much poison damage as ticking damage, right? That shit should be amazing. Um, of course, I would go and finish the follow up uh, synergy, ruthless follow up, uh, follow up crit rate 3.74%, uh, determined by luck. That's a main, our main. Uh, attribute uh, and uh, somewhere here should be super follow up, um, super follow up trigger chance four percent determined by luck. So already a great synergy. Uh, it I, it should work uh, for the mage legions and the, of course you can go with elemental harmony to add up some uh, mag magic damage, uh, warped skill uh, and crit damage. Uh, of course there is uh, like other options uh, such as uh, like uh, first attack. Uh, again, like only difference between mage and uh, infantry style of uh, venomous lizard is we are not taking counter strike and we are only taking uh, follow up synergy and first attack. Uh, same again, uh, your warped has a 40% chance to deal damage to the target when uh, your deputy casts a rage skill. And we all, everybody knows that mages are, mage legions are casting as much skills and uh, uh, like filling up the rage as possible because that's their main uh, damage type. Uh, but yeah, if you want to go fully about magic, um, you can always add, uh, like for example, um, fortune, right? It should be somewhere here. Um, magic fortune. Uh, like sometimes I, it's hard for me to uh, see which... Uh, well, yeah, magic fortune, fortune uh, crit rate for the skill damage uh, which uh, Warped deals. And this is what I uh, think sometimes, and this is what kind of ideas I make. I think it will be viable for the magic hero pairs. Uh, this is second uh, style of the Venomous Lizard. Now let's speak about hero pairs. I think uh, simply because uh, Venomous Lizard is a land uh, warped, it can't be used with the flying uh, uh, hero pairs for the mages, but uh, for the Waldir and Welin, uh, like more additional poison, more damage can be fine. Uh, like any hero pairs with Alwyn, because Alwyn deals uh, some debuffs and some uh, poison damage too, can be viable. Now, uh, even with like uh, Welin and uh, Lilia, like poison damage in general is great uh, because even if you are playing against tier 5 players who are more tankier than you, I think. Poison damage mitigates a lot of armor and uh, all the resistance and like it's pure ticking damage which is great against especially for uh, against pair to win players. Like any uh, magic uh, hero pair uh, which is not flying will be fine with Venomous Lizard. Uh, this is like second style which a um, lot a lot of people have tried and it's an idea and if you guys are interested try it and let me know how it will work right. Uh, this is all I wanted to share regarding uh, Venomous Lizard, Lizard which um, have been pretty interesting Warped since the day one. Uh, I hope uh, this guide was interesting for you. Uh, if it was, um, I, it would always be, it, it always brings smile on my face and motivates me whenever I see likes uh, and subscribes and I don't know comments regarding like topics. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna continue making the videos about Call of Dragons in the future too. Um, and bye bye, good luck, bye bye.